What's going on, guys? Hey, real quick, just wanted to do a quick shout out for a buddy of ours, uh, Jacob Mock. It's a, a, our buddy we met on our Arctic Red trip. You saw him on episode one. We dropped him off on uh, the float plane. Jacob, thanks for the bottle of whiskey. This stuff's going to be used around the campfire this year on our hunts. Man, can't wait. Not going to break it open until uh, we're in a hunting camp so we can enjoy it the real way. All right, guys, just real quick, just wanted to talk about the giveaway we got coming up. So there's a couple things you got to know. Um, if you head to the website, it's www.themtnproject.com, themountainproject.com. Um, at the top, you'll see the giveaway page. Click on the giveaway page, scroll to the bottom. It'll it'll list all the stuff we're giving away and, and, and how it all works. But at the bottom, it'll have your a spot to enter your email address. Enter your email address, it'll send a confirmation email. What you gotta do is open that email, go into it, and, and make sure you confirm. Also, for every dollar you spend inside the store, you get another entry. So if you go over and buy some shirts, whatever in our store, every dollar you get another entry we got mexico coos deer hunt we got proof barrels we got a psc bow marsupial stuff canyon coolers uh, we got a ton of stuff so make sure you don't miss out on that so with that please keep commenting sending us feedback sharing our videos if you haven't done so yet subscribe it helps us out really hope you guys enjoy episode 16 our last day in new mexico for mule deer we got a bunch more stuff coming up we'll see you guys later Oh, it's the last morning. We are leaving camp. <clears throat> Make the drive back out where we were last night, to the end of the road, and pray that the bucks make themselves visible. And then we get to, uh, if we find them, <clears throat> we can make a play on them. A couple different ways we might go at them, but either way is going to be quick and easy so it's going to be a long day between trying to kill a deer and trying to make it home back to work at 24 hours from now so it's going to be an interesting day bad men turn good women wrong and make bastards out of their sons and fools of themselves they're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped and left there to rot all the weeds that they grew are never end they slave the whole human race making dollars off our fate while your hands getting stained in transaction time all we got left So count your cards and hold your breath For the fool's state of mind But hey, it's a paycheck It's a paycheck God only knows <laughs> Thanks, Jake So we came back to the spot where we glassed up those deer last night, and Jake was able to pick them right back up again. So Kevin and Chase bailed off to try and get closer, and they're getting up to a point where they can hopefully glass across and see these deer. Me and Jake can't see them anymore. They fed over into a little draw, but hopefully once they get to the top here in just a few minutes, we'll be able to we'll be able to see them. At least we have a pretty view. Huh? <laughs> so at least we have a pretty view. Oh, and we had one guy park next to us, like right when we pulled up. So it didn't start our morning off good. It kind of just made us hurry a little bit more. And we don't know where that guy took off to. It was just one other hunter. <laughs> but if we can't see the deer, he can't see the deer either. Well, we'll see how this goes.
so bad. Did it again? <laughs> Two years in a row. <laughs> He's a, he rolled like 10 yards down. Oh, I see him. Where'd the other ones go? I don't know. Dude, I peeked over and he was right there. I don't know if he heard me or smelled this, but I peeked over and he was by those, the big opening and he ran. And he kept looking up. Dude, he was... So I didn't mean to rush it, but he looked oh. like he was getting ready to run. You guys got coffee? Yeah. Dude, I can't believe that just worked out that way. <laughs> we freaking smoked him. Heck yeah, man. Congrats. That's awesome. Well, he just decided to go off and do his own thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you try calling me? Yeah, I didn't mean to. Heck yeah. Well, here he is. It's been kind of a crazy morning. It's only 8.30, but uh, it's only been two hours, but it feels like it's been all day. We found this buck last night. We uh, Chase killed his buck, and we just started driving around, checking out new country. Aspens are so thick, and the brush is so thick right now that last year in November, it seemed <clears throat> it didn't seem as thick with all these green leaves and stuff. Now it's, it's, uh, it's been a chore, but... Anyways, we got out here last night, bunch of ran into a bunch of other hunters and we just kept going deeper and deeper and we uh finally got to a point where we uh could glass from a bunch of big country and it's way it's thick but it's not like it's been and Jake glassed up five bucks and uh this guy was in there. So we made a game plan to come back this morning and hunt him before we head home and got in we were the first ones in there past some other trucks and one of the trucks ended up following us parking right by us didn't even talk to us didn't care to acknowledge us or nothing um and i think they're from arizona but as soon as we sat down jake picked this buck up had some clouds last night and he must have bedded down and he didn't move far so me and chase dove off the canyon and uh took us about an hour to get to the top Made a game plan with the way the wind was blowing and where the buck disappeared. Jake and Brittany couldn't see him, but we had this rock pile we were going to get up on and glass him in this bowl. And whew, man, we were sweating, but we got up there, peeked over, and I don't know where the other four bucks are, but this buck was right below us, 150, 180 yards. And I think he heard me getting my pack, trying to get my pack up on top of the rocks because I had peeked over and saw him, and he ran about 15 yards and stopped and uh me and chase were talking back and forth about yardages and we just held on them a little high and the old muzzle loader did the trick but awesome buck only buck we've seen that's full velvet it's poking through in places and it's getting ready to fall off but probably the second biggest deer we saw on the trip and he's awesome New Mexico again treated us well for a quick trip. Got uh, the two hinds and the gear in there. Kevin's gonna grab the head. Kevin's got the front shoulders, back straps, and all the neck and the spare. Load these babies up. Head off the mountain. Just so you guys know, 9:30. We just did the NASCAR pit crew to the to this buck and got everything. So a huge canyon. <laughs> We're trying to uh, beat the sun, but guess what? It's here. It's here. Oh well. As long as we're out by.
11. Noon. So Kevin and I have been coming to New Mexico for a while now. And uh, the joke is that he kills the bucks and I kill the bulls. So, got another good looking pack out. Yep. Yes, sir. It's been a good year for us so far. We're not even halfway. <laughs> Congratulations! Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're taking a big kiss. <laughs> How was it? Are you glad I sent you? Holy yeah. crap. Shoot up. It's brutal. Yeah, that canyon's no joke. That was like... <laughs> Dude, you guys cooked. You made it over there quick. Especially when you come down and you're like, oh shit. I couldn't believe it when she saw you guys. I was like, holy crap, they're close. And I was like, that deer still got to be right there somewhere. I peeked over one time. Uh, Chase was like, let's go a little bit further to the right. So we moved a little bit more. I peek over and I'm like, oh, he picks his head up and I'm like, God, it's him. I'm like, Chase, he's right there. So he stays where he's at and starts to peek over and I'm messing around with the pack. I was going to lay the pack up there and shoot off of it. I look over and he freaking runs like 20 yards. And I'm like, he heard me or something. And we didn't have good wind. Oh, really? And I'm like, Chase, we gotta make it happen. So he's getting a little tripod just like that on a rock. He's I'm trying to find him. And then I'm like, I'll just hold a little high. And then I'm all, crap, how far is it? So he's like, where is he? And I'm, we're talking and he's like, 150. So I just freaking held a little high on his shoulder. And it's like, say when? And he's like, okay. He's standing there just like looking up like he could hear us. Boom! But it's like, can't see. <laughs> it finally clears and it's like, and he's I freaking right through both shoulders, both lungs, and just boom, woof. Thin with him, huh? Nice. We were getting a little nervous. Did he scrape off that velvet or was it from? Uh, he's come through already. Holy yeah, yeah, I mean he's poking through. through. We can set him down. I can wash my hands. Oh, <clears throat> In the famous words of Chase Christopher, it's time to embrace the suck. <laughs> During Arctic Red, he'd say that. We'd go so far, and I'd go, "Have we embraced it yet?" Nope, not even close. Yeah, dude. <laughs> 
Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you enjoyed episode 16. We absolutely love New Mexico and the, the hunts that we can draw over there. And we have a blast. But with that real quick, just want to give a quick shout out with our buddy Ryan Agosic of A3 Trophy Hunts New Mexico. This deer hunt and elk hunt coming up, we're drawn through the guide draw through New Mexico's draw system. Our buddy Jake Richardson is along with us uh, representing A3 on these hunts. So if you guys have any questions, we're going to put Ryan's number below in the description. New Mexico's results should be coming out soon. But if you draw a tag and you need a good outfitter to go with, check out A3 Trophy Hunts in New Mexico. Uh, Ryan's number will be below. Give him a call. Tell him we sent you. And have fun. These guys kill a lot of big stuff in New Mexico. And and get the job done so thanks ryan thanks jake hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you later